Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Stars Themselves. Thank you so much for being here again. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 1, Episode 18, titled The Apartment. Yeah, I've got some tea with me. Some loose leaf tea. I haven't had this kind in a while. And some peach chunks. <laughs> Random. But yeah, let's just get into it. Grab a snack, grab some tea, grab something if you wanna, and then let's just start watching. Did you get my report on the Finley murder? Uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone in the office stop? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. I was about to say, does Peralta have father issues? And then I was like, wait, I know he has father issues. <laughs> He's talked about this. Jacob. I take it as a compliment. You did call him dad, dude. All right, all right, I was lying about the holdup. But the dad thing, that happened. I believe you. Thank you. Son. <laughs> Want to talk about it later over a game of catch? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Let's do that. I know you'd all rather be at home binge watching media content. I just started the second season of media content. <laughs> Sir, I think I speak for all of us. She, she doesn't. doesn't. It's true, she doesn't. These will be self-evaluations, Santiago. Why? Wise, sir. Nice save. Hate the weekend squad. Detective Lohang shaves at my desk and gets hair all over my computer. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about my squad. I feel like a proud mama hen whose baby chicks have learned to fly. Gina looked so happy. I guess I always forget she likes him, but he's also married. <laughs> Is there any way I can borrow $430,000? I've been living at my Nana's place since she passed away, but now the building's going co-op. I need to secure a loan by the end of the day. Let's just do cash. Peralta, this is crazy. We grew up together. We used to hang out there every day after school. There was no one to look after us. Our moms both worked and we didn't have fathers. Peralta, I will not give you a cool half mil because you had a slightly sad childhood. <laughs> Nana made me the intelligent, sensuous woman I am today. Weird way to describe a grandma's influence on you. <laughs> Weekend crew. Oh, weird. Low Hank's a stubble monkey. I hate him and his face garbage. He denies even doing it. I don't know why. Next time I catch him shaving, I'm going to punch him so hard in the mouth he bites his own heart. I can't. I'm psyched to be hanging like this, old school styles. Styles with a Z. Oh, I could tell. It's interesting that they grew up together because I don't think they mentioned that before. How we looking? Sexy, but it's almost effortless. Yeah, no, I knew all of that. I meant the money thing. <laughs> I'm learning how to spin. Klezmer collection. <laughs> so he is Jewish too, because Santiago's Jewish, right? Maybe I mixed that up, but I think Santiago's Jewish, so he's Jewish as well. I suspected that, but wasn't sure. How much do I have to cut back in order to keep this place? Infinity percent. Technically speaking, you're bankrupt, kiddo. I only said kiddo to soften the blow, kiddo. She's smart, no matter how much she's weird. <laughs> it seems illegal they didn't tell you this was happening. Well, it's possible I missed a letter, but I doubt it. Ooh, let's check the mail tub. See? It's impossible to find anything in here. It's not my fault. I wonder why, Peralta. Guy I know, Frank. He's kind of skeevy, but he will loan money to anybody. Maybe you're not thinking this through. Says the woman who's been engaged eight times. <laughs> you want to see me, sirs? I was reading the sergeant's lips through the window, and he either said, bring in Santiago next, or something about a San Diego nest. For you, I have just one question. Can't wait to hear What is your biggest flaw? Working too hard? Caring too much? Stalking? Well, <laughs> oh, Hank is shaving right now. <laughs> oh, my word. <gasps> he intentionally does that? Are you kidding me? That is disgusting. Shaving cream and loose hair. I cannot believe I am considering a non-violent option. 
And I know just where to get a bundle of loose hair. Of course you do. I don't need much, just like $430,000. Nah, too much. I'm happy this went terribly. Uh, we do have to go now, so please excuse us. $20,000. Two bags of zitty. That I can do. Jake, he is a sea witch in disguise. Do not sing into his shell. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about right now. I do. Oh, Little Mermaid. What have you done? <laughs> oh, yeah. That is gross. Bag of hair. <laughs> Whose hair is that? Check, check this out. It's so funny that they're doing this together, though. I'm Boyle and Rosa bonding. <laughs> I'm a bully goat. <laughs> wow, he's making her laugh. Oh, I think oh, I no. just swallowed oh, a bunch of stranger awful. hair. Oh, oh, gosh. That's so gross. It's bad enough when it's your own hair. The co-op board meeting was an hour ago. I know. I am so sorry. It's just I've been pretty busy with police work, you know? Looks great in this uniform. You've been an adequate tenant. Adequate. But we needed a completed application with a bank loan by today. I got one letter. We left you 15 voicemails as well. My generation mostly texts. I'm only 33, so. We're in the same generation. I'm 31. 31? That. Did you just point at my bald spot? No. <laughs> We need you out by next Friday. Oh. Is there any way we can move it to the Sunday after eight years from next Friday? <laughs> you got a full head, head of hair. Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be homeless. Chin up, little pup. This isn't the only apartment in the city. We'll find you a new one. I mean, maybe we'll find a great place. Not a girl. In a cooler neighborhood. That's right, girl. Maybe I'll even have a cute neighbor. Get it, girl. You gotta stop calling me girl. He didn't want me to say flaws that were actually positive. Like how the sergeant always says it's bad that he works out too much. Whoa, why the drive-by? <laughs> Where's this going? Too competitive, prone to jealousy, follow rules to a fault. Every now and then I smoke a cigarette. Santiago. You're disappointed. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to a secret location and make sure that nobody is- Just stop talking and listen. I wanna know what he was gonna say. Pet friendly. Do they allow cats? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Oh, murky bed. Voila. Kind of cool high ceilings. Ooh, that's very cool. Lots the of toilet potential. is in the middle of the living room. Ugh. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Gosh. Spending all my breaks on the phone with my wife, Nancy. About a year ago, she fell down the stairs and broke her back. She's addicted to painkillers. She's refusing treatment. Our dog, Cinnamon, got out. Cinnamon got hit by a drunk driver. <laughs> Vet assured us that her suffering was unending and terrible. Oh my gosh. Just bending a little. I, I appreciate it. Of course. Thanks. Anything for a good friend like you. Oh, I think that's the truth. Scully and I have a combined total of 14 arrests. Goodness gracious. That's not enough arrests. Well, no one asked you. It's a self evaluation. Oh my gosh. Jeez. These guys need to retire. You use your hands like uh, scoopers. Just go. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for this, sir. Uh, we accidentally... Hasn't <sighs> Detective Lohan been through enough? He just got diagnosed with prostate cancer. Of course he did. Clean this up, now. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh gosh, ew. What if I bought this apartment? I could rent it to you till you find a new place. What? She has the money to do that? I'm thrifty. I cut my own hair. I walk to work. I eat Scully's lunch every day. That adds up. I saved up money and I'm looking for a real estate opportunity. You be my landlady? You're Gina. Your lifelong dream is to be on Wife Swap. You call gum the dentist. You think Ray J is a national treasure. Yeah, so what? I'm eclectic. <laughs> I'm glad that I still own this place because I can happily invite you to leave. Oh my gosh. Just checking out my new bedroom. Oh, good. It feels like scoliosis and smells like 10 million butts. <laughs> when did everyone decide to become an adult? 
I mean, I know you were born in your 50s, but come on. Gina just offered to buy Nana's apartment as a real estate opportunity and become my landlady. That's awesome. We've known each other since we were kids, you know? I got her her job, and now I find out she's been saving all these years? What's wrong with that? What would you say Holt thinks my biggest flaw is? Who cares what Holt thinks? What's most important is what I think your biggest flaw is. <laughs> Too competitive, prone to jealousy, bit of a killjoy. Your shame, cigarettes. Oh my god. <laughs> you suck at throwing away your secret lists. <laughs> That's good. Hey, you want to grab a drink? Oh, shoot, I would, but I'm meeting Vivian for that romantic pig colon dinner. Gross. I want to apologize. Although, asking you out and smelling your hair and staring at you from point blank range. <laughs> you're pretty cool now that you're in love with someone else. <laughs> I'm going to yell at you. Excuse me? Santiago is one of your best detectives. And all you wanted to do was play mind games with her. Scully and Hitchcock only arrested 14 people. But that's eight more than last year. And I know Peralta can be childish, but he leads the precinct in college, and he's grown up a heck of a lot since you got here. Okay, sit down, Sergeant. I'm gonna do your evaluation now. I really want to know what Holt is really going at with this, because I think he's got something else in his motivation than people think. Just the fact that you're willing to stand up for them is one of the reasons they respect you so much. I could learn something from you. You have every right to feel like, what was it you said this morning? Proud mama hen, sir. <laughs> Proud mama hen. <laughs> Yeah, I had a feeling it would go that way. I was mad at you for being more together than me, and that's not fair. You should buy Nana's place. You should live there. And where are you going to live? Here. Mm, that's what I thought. I'd keep paying the same amount of rent, and you would turn a small profit. You have a deal. All right. Steak, steak, yes! That's cool. Hello, detective. Is there a reason you're interrupting me mid-soup? I'm ready for my self-evaluation. My biggest flaw is that I care too much what you think of me. I should be more confident in my own judgment, and I am so sure of that, I don't even care if you think I'm right. Evaluation over. Enjoy your soup. <laughs> oh. Wow, well that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good time. I really liked, I liked how, oh, I'm forgetting his name now. Jeffords, right? Sergeant Jeffords. I liked how he stood up for everybody. Um, I also liked how Holt, of course, was again, like, not what people thought. He often, I feel like he rubs people the wrong way, but he always has, like, good intentions. And he's very good at, like, taking responsibility and apologizing and, like all that. So anyways, I think it, it was an enjoyable episode. I wouldn't say like, I don't think it's anything special, but it just, it was a good episode. Good episode with some good people. It was nice to see Rosa and Boyle bonding a little bit. Also really cool what Gina's doing for, for Jake. And I hope that works out. Also, I would love Gina's apartment. It's such a cool layout. I really like how it's like, the kitchen and then like the living area and then like stairs up to like a loft bedroom. I think that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this and if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, leave a nice comment, all the stinking things. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye!